How's it going movie fans? The 27th of May 2023 is the 52nd birthday of actor Paul Bettany. A BAFTA and Golden Globe nominated actor, Bettany's on-screen acting debut came with a television appearance in 1994, with his feature film debut coming in 1997's Bent. However, Bettany's style would begin to rise around the turn of the millennium, with appearances in his first major Hollywood productions. Bettany currently has four projects in production. Here are the Firewall's top 10 Paul Bettany movies. At number 10, is the young Victoria. In this biographical period drama, based on the early life of Queen Victoria, including prior to taking the throne and the first years of her reign, Bettany plays William Lamb, aka Lord Melbourne, the British Prime Minister who is sent by the King to advise Victoria, and is appointed her private secretary. The runtime is on 5 minutes, and the young Victoria has a foal rating of 6.7 out of 10. At number 9 is The Knight's Tale. Set in 14th century Europe, William Thatcher is a peasant who following the death of his master is inspired to train and compete in jousting tournaments, despite the fact that only nobles are allowed to compete. Bettany plays Geoffrey Chaucer, a writer and ring announcer with a gambling habit. The runtime is on 32 minutes, and A Knight's Tale has a foal rating of 6.8. At number 8, is Journey's End. Based on the 1928 play of the same name, taking place on the Western Front in 1918, a military unit led by the decorated but alcoholic Captain Stanhope are sent to await their fates on the front lines. Bettany plays second in command, Lieutenant Osborne. The runtime's on seven minutes, and Journey's End has a foal rating of 6.9. At number 7 is Margin Call. In 2008, a Wall Street firm begins laying off its employees en masse. One of those fired is the head of risk management, who on his way out hands over a USB stick to a junior risk analyst. On the USB, the analyst discovers information regarding the impending financial crisis. Bethany plays head of trading, Will Emerson. The runtime is on some minutes, and Margin Call has a foal rating of 7.2. At number 6, it's Gangster Number 1. Based on the stage play of the same name, in this crime drama, Bettany is credited as young gangster, and in 1960s London, Bettany's gangster character is recruited to be an enforcer by prominent gangster Freddie Mays. The gangster then rises through the ranks due to his loyalty and violent behaviour. The runtime's on 3 minutes, and Gangster Number 1 has a foal rating of 7.3. At number 5 is Dogville. Grace Mulligan is on the run from gangsters when she happens upon the small town of Dogville, where she is convinced to go into hiding. But the townspeople become more and more demanding with what they expect from Grace in return. Bethany plays Tom Edison Jr., an aspiring writer and philosopher. The run times on 78 minutes, and Dogville has a foal rating of 7.3. At number 4, is Uncle Frank. Set in 1973, Beth Bledsoe moves to New York City from North Carolina to attend college. While there, she learns that her uncle Frank Bledsoe, played by Bettany, who is a college professor, is gay, but has been hiding it from their family. Frank tries to protect his secret when he travels with Beth back to South Carolina. The runtime is 95 minutes, and Uncle Frank has a foal rating of 7.6. At number 3 is Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World. Bethany received a BAFTA Award nomination for Best Sporting Actor for his performance as Stephen Maturin, a surgeon aboard the Royal Navy vessel, the HMS Surprise, whose captain has been ordered to intercept a French vessel, but they soon find out that they are chasing a superior ship. The runtime is on 38 minutes, and Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World has a foul rating of 7.7. 7. At number 2, is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Bethany has been a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe from the beginning, providing the voice for Tony Stark's personal AI system, Jarvis. Since then, Bethany has taken part in a further six MCU movies, with Iron Man 2 and 3, The Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, where he became Vision, Avengers Infinity War, and Captain America Civil War. The runtime is 960 minutes, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe has a foal rating of 8.2. At number one, is a beautiful mind. This biographical drama, based on the 1998 biography of the same name, depicts the life and brilliance of Nobel Prize winning mathematician John Nash, including his arrival at Princeton University in the late 1940s, where he meets his roommate Charles Herman, played by Bettany, a literature student. The run time is 35 minutes, and a beautiful mind has a foal rating of 8.2. Thanks for watching, next week I'll be counting down the Firewall's top 10 journalism movies, and if you enjoyed this list, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe.